forces are gathering. You've been chosen to stop them. Let's go train. Well, that Nicolas Cage wig just keeps getting longer and longer after every movie. Well, at this point, <laughs> it's not just a toupee. It's a wig. So I can yeah. almost kind of forgive it. I, I will say this. I will pay to go see a Nicolas Cage movie just to see his hair. Just, uh, no. I, but I have to I have to admit, though, that, that wig or whatever it was it looked fucking fantastic, though, because I was really looking at it going, wow, well, he should stick with this look. I'm like, well, he is a magician or a sorcerer, so he must have used that Rogaine, Rogaine Patronum fucking yeah. <laughs> or something. I was like, wow. I know. Keep I'll, that up. I'll wait, but that is he called Harry Potter, who's a specialty in that type of thing. I know that, that, that fool's gonna be Rapunzel in the Disney live action remake. You can tell he came from the days of King Arthur because he didn't know that hairstyle is way out of style. I know. <laughs> and he didn't get I, 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 I have to give his uh, hairstyle is a better better than sex with for this movie. <laughs> to be no, fair, John, to be John Paul Mitchell. No, his, his, his hair is very chic with the homeless. Yeah, you know? Hey man, if you got as much power as his character has in this film, who gives a shit what people think about your hair? To be fair, and they did kind of establish that, like. Fuck you! I blow you out your ass to smithereens by if I accidentally blink too many times. Yeah, I know. Yeah, in the movie he he plays this ancient sorcerer who comes from a uh, I don't know what the first three sorcerers ever. Well, he, he was w- uh, the students to Merlin. Yeah, yeah he worked yeah. with Merlin. And back, it was him. back when the world was young <laughs> in medieval times. Yes, in the no, it was, Merlin was training like. Three really kick-ass yeah. sorcerers back then. Yeah, had three apprentices. Ooh, Balthazar was was uh, Nicholas Cage, and I have no idea what the other two guys. Oh were well, it, well, one it was, was uh, Alfred Molina, who yeah. was whose name is Horace Bath, I yeah. think. <laughs> Something the, like yeah, that. And yeah, the yeah, other yeah, was yeah, uh, yeah, And the other was Pikachu. I think. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a hot chick. Oh, Veronica. <laughs> Ma, uh, what's her name? Uh, B- uh, Bella Lucci. Uh, Ma- Monica, yeah, Monica, Monica Bellucci. Monica Bellucci, who is yeah. just fine doing whatever she wants to do. In a movie. Yes, she can. Yeah, she 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 got magic right in her ass right there. She don't do anything else. No, and so. So something happened where they all had a falling out in Horus Bath, which is the Afro Molina character. He <laughs> what? They, they became, Horus Bath. That's what it sounded like to uh, me. I, I know, How are you I, not going to go wrong? I was exactly. Say, that's an awesome name. Every time they said name, I was like Horus Bath. Really? No wonder the <laughs> dude is pissed off. He, yeah. <laughs> Horus Bath and Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. <laughs> 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 and something happened. He where, turned on them. Yeah, yeah, he he turned on them. So. He got together, you're right, with Morgana, the evil yeah. uh, magician. Played by uh, Alice Creed. Yes. And about uh, Balthazar, who is the, the Nicolas Cage character, he's, he was powerful enough and lucky enough, and with the aid of Monica Bellucci, uh, was able to lock them away for centuries. And now, in modern day, he's looking for the next apprentice who will help him keep this other evil sorcerer at bay and also take on the air of the next great wizard. Well, yeah. he's, they, they're looking for the, what they call it, the, the new Merlinian. The Merlinian. Like, yeah. Mer, Merlin <laughs> dies. And, yeah, I was like, that, really, guys? Come Merlinian? On, yeah. That was a bit you, of a stretch. You, you, could, you could go with a better name than that. Well, Merlin was, was, was unobtainium yeah, taken. Yeah, Merlin <laughs> even would be embarrassed by that. Like, Come on, man. Really? He's the next magician. He's I not, know. Better than the that? new Merlin dude. I know. You, wait, you wait for George Lucas to step in and say, it's midichlorians. <laughs> All the magic here. No, I, but, but I gotta say, you know what, for this plot to have all this magic people traveling through time and living forever um it's still as far as uh Collaborations between John Turtletop and Nicolas Cage a lot more realistic than National Treasure. I do. Yeah, John yeah. Turtletop did National Treasure, National Treasure Two, Book of Secrets. He also, did, you know, he did some good movies. I, I did like uh, what was it, Cool Runnings? Uh, what, what was it? Uh, did he do that one with the Jamaican bobsled? Oh, with the team? Jamaican bobsled team. I, 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 <laughs> I, I know. I see his name on episodes of Sanford and Son, so I'll give him credit for that. <laughs> he did episode, episodes of uh, Sanford and Son. Yeah, he was like a writer. Or producer oh, he was a writer. That's okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did Damn. Cool Runnings. He did Three Ninjas. He did a whole bunch Damn. of. Are you wow. sure? Are you sure he wasn't? Uh, are you sure he wasn't one of Merlin's apprentices? <laughs> Going I mean, back that if, far. One of the things about this, like all, all this we've told you so far, they tell you in the first five minutes of the film, and you're watching it. And it's like it feels like a TV show, like one of those previously on the Sor- yeah. Sorcerer's Apprentice, and that's like not even mildly exaggerated because that's exactly what it does. It's like and yes. then this happened, and then this happened, and then oh god, this happened, that sucked, and then we did this, and they're like wait, what? You, you ain't this week's lying. episode you Merlin. Long. Long time while they read the storybook <laughs> of, they of these characters. It's like, guys, <laughs> you filmed yeah, it. Yeah. Can't we just see the actual thing play out? Here? An well, epic no, no, fight no. between Merlin and Morgana. Well, well, the fate of the world is at hand. Merlin Cliff. Well, we're going to get in that that whole TV thing because that's a big role in my criticism of this film. Now, of course, they want to take a different spin on this. I mean, it's always. When they come back to like seek this person out, he's the uh, what did they say in Aladdin? He was the the the, the diamond in the, the rough. diamond in the rough. Yeah, they, they <laughs> you're looking for like this big 
husky, powerful guy. No, they get it, it's the weakest guy that you could ever yeah. think of who would never ever be thought of as a great sorcerer. It, you know, it's the kid that the radioactive spider was going to bite, but then somebody stole his lunch money and it missed him and jumped on. Now, yeah. wow. <laughs> I, I, a I, wizard, not a barbarian. Yeah, okay, yeah, wizards yeah. are a little nerdy guys. <laughs> That's kind of the reason <laughs> they <laughs> learn and spend all this time reading books how to decimate people with yeah. fireballs and shit because, because they can't do it with they their hands. Can't lift a sword. It's funny because like in wizard school, you know, it's the little geeky nerdy guy that's getting all the chicks and all the all the jocks like oh shit here comes a murder or whatever why, why do you think those movies are so popular right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good little kid going around zapping uh, jocks for the lunch money and shit <laughs> come on give it up give it up it's like give a magical me. version of uh, <laughs> fucking grease <laughs> <laughs> look wedgie no hands <laughs> but, no, but man oops, whoops, oh, oh look at that it's all falling apart now I believe it's magic well you know what I got the magical big feet. <laughs> I got these magical size 13s that <laughs> can reach anything in this room. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Watch. The, the, don't, don't ever sit in a stall because you're going to get propositioned. <laughs> Those are some big fucking feet. I know. He's Sasquatch, isn't he? Hey, you just shave him down. Clown. You just shave him down every night before we come over to record. <laughs> hey, you, well, see, you see Carlos over there? Hey, uh, let me but, hit me with your Aladdin boots. But who is up? Uh, now, who is the producer on this? Uh, really? How do Jerry I? Bruckheimer. Jerry Bruckheimer. Yeah, Bruckheimer. yeah the reason okay, why sorry. I say this is because if you watch any of these Jerry Bruckheimer crime shows, are those shows where they go in CSI, and, CSI and, and all that kind of stuff? This movie, Jerry Bruckheimer is making these movies as not only entertainment but they're functioning as a promotion for music, and there's always a break in these TV shows that he does where they had to play the soundtrack by the latest big artist. This movie stops about three times to play you a soundtrack by some upcoming pop star. And I'm like, yeah. this is, I don't mind a soundtrack in a movie if it fits the story. I, but I would prefer, if we're going to do product placement, just go, oh, wow, this Dr. Pepper is good. Because it's out of the way like yeah. that. I don't have I to mean, sit and watch a montage. This movie just stops and people don't <laughs> yeah. even talk. They just look up while the song is playing. Yeah. I, I, you, you're waiting for the camera to veer to the right and have the fucking Jonas Brothers Jr. <laughs> uh, whoever the fuck was on the soundtrack. Because you're absolutely right. Uh, if, if we were to start complaining about what we didn't like, that's one of the things that really bothered me because they fucking they did their best to insert that song any way yeah. they could, any at any random scene that had made no sense. I'm surprised Morgana Le Fay didn't summon Nickelback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and magically bringing their careers back. <laughs> well, I mean, she's evil, but she ain't that evil. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Anna, Anna <laughs> no, it's 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 a movie that's over. It's, it's almost like with with music. I've never used this term with movies. It's overly produced in the point that the producers really is trying to cross promote several different things in one film. It's slick to the point of being gross. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and I wouldn't even mind it so much, like I said, if the story was any good. But really, this is reminding me not of just Harry Potter, which I'm sure some people are gonna say, well, this is another magic movie's trying to ride that. No, this reminds me of some of the weak movies that have come out trying to follow Harry Potter, like Percy Jackson. You know, I, yeah. uh, I'll be fair, though. Uh, and although Percy Jackson, I think, is is one of my favorites of those, it's still not a really good movie or anything, but it's one of the better. I have put this up there with Percy Jackson. There were things about this movie I did like. Well, and, you and I both put and, it up there, except I didn't like Percy Jackson yeah, that much. Well, I mean, I think Nicolas Cage actually did a good job in this part. He was convincing in this part. I got I got him totally in this if he just didn't have to talk to the whiny, irritating Jay... Uh, Jay Baruch. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, we got yeah. to say. The guy that comes back who he's trying to like turn into his apprentice like wizard nerd, is Jay Bruchel. A nerd, yes, but this guy is just not a second that you believe him mm. as this character. You know, he, well, he, well, shit, I don't even believe him. He's trying to play a 20-year-old and this guy's clearly knocking the hell out of 30. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know what? I, this is kind of movie... It's magic. This is what I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, his his uh, makeup guy yeah. was a wizard. Yeah, during, during every time they introduced him, they they should have they sh there should have been some guy in the background going, "It's magic." <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, this is this is the kind of movie that I go into that probably gets a, a better rating for me than it normally would because I go in going like, "Man, Nicolas Cage, Bruckheimer, uh, Turtle Top, this is gonna be a piece of shit. I don't even want to see it." And I was like, you know what? It's actually kind of charming in its own way. For for kids, I can see like it's got a great movement to it. Nicolas Cage is actually pretty good. Alfred Alfred. Alfred Melina's great. Has some really terrific action scenes. Yeah, yeah, it does. They, and I like the way they handle magic. It's different from Harry Potter. They, they, you know, they managed to do that. But 
every time I would start to like it, fucking Jay Baruchel would do something. <laughs> I mean, he, I, I just thought he was horrible. I couldn't stand the way he acted. I couldn't stand his voice. He had what was supposed to be humor, his nerd humor of being awkward, but it was just the same thing over and over well, again. Well, we're beginning to see him. He's becoming in that actor in the vein of Michael Sarah, where yes. he's playing the same guy over and over again. It's, it's enough that if it was him, it would be okay, but it's a character that he's continuously playing. You're right. It's a, it's a character. It's a third generation. You bring up Michael Sarah. It's a third generation of other characters. I mean, and he's got this Jerry Lewis voice, and, <laughs> and, and that's the thing. Like, like, he spends some time just going. Aah. And that's and that's where his downfall is. It's his voice. Two weeks ago, I was just a normal college kid, and then he showed up. I mean, this guy, honestly, he works better as a cartoon character. Yes, he should be, I thought that too. He should he be should working in nothing dragon. but Pixar he films. Awesome. He should and, be a and, character animated. actor. Actor, yeah. Not a lead actor because he has that stumbling block. I actually don't think he's a bad actor, but he can't get past that quality of his the way his voice sounds. He, he's he's, he's just Napoleon unconvincing. Dynamite. And you watch him, and like everybody wants to see the nerd get the girl in these movies, but he's so nerdy that when he does, you cringe. Because you're like, oh, don't touch him. Because they keep pairing up, <laughs> pairing him up with girls, and you're like, oh, Kev, you got magic or not? You ain't getting a girl no. that far. No, yeah. there's that movie was in before well, this. She's out of the out of out of your league, mm-hmm. and she totally was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. He should have, I, you know, yeah, sweet and, moral and all that, but no, he should have backed away from that. Said, "There's no way." She should have ran that. Been hard. Well, yeah. that chick was made out of magic because she was like a combination of like, uh, what is it, uh, Amber, uh, what, Kristen Stewart and yeah. uh, a man was Amber Amber Heard. Amber Heard. No. Yeah, I mean, where I was like, each time I saw her in different shots, I was like, "Hey, it's Amber Heard's in this." Oh no no no. no. Oh, Kristen Stewart. Oh, oh no 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 no. Well, the actress in this is uh, her name's Teresa Palmer, uh-huh. and you can tell these movies are written by. Nerds and guys who did not get the girl in high school. They're right. like, well, I can make it happen in a movie, you know. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, yeah, and guys who haven't uh, and, obviously haven't read any Harry Potter. And, and, and you're right. When when Nicholas Cage starts showing up and, and helping out Jay Bruce, you know, grooming him to be the next great wizard, I never bought it because he never seems confident enough to pull that role. Even when he starts to become his own and, and into his mm-hmm. own with his magic and everything, I'm still be waiting to come out and like, I'll save you with the highs and the highs and the highs and the highs and the highs. You know, he was he's he's Jerry Lewis in this throughout this whole yeah. movie, really, but. Uh, but despite all that, though, I have to admit, I I, I actually had fun watching this movie. Yeah, same and, and I think Nicolas Cage really saved it a, a lot of times. Because, which which you, you almost never say. <laughs> you're right. And, and, and I was really blown away. I was like, wow, you know, it's the, he's actually playing a character. And it's a character that I yeah. actually like. <laughs> my, my only one complaint, though, is with that lead guy is... He's not a fucking mouse. What the hell's going on, man? What is going on in this movie world where the the, the Sorcerer's Apprentice is supposed to be a fucking mouse, right? Yes. Am I right or am I wrong? Uh, man, thank you. Are you joking? But I'm I'm there with you. He did have big ears. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I'm sure he has a mouse in his hand. Yeah. Most yeah. Of the if you like, cross Jerry yeah. Lewis with a mouse, you yeah. get this character moving. No, I, like, you're yeah. joking, but I totally agree with you. Look, I'm a little biased here because mm-hmm. Fantasia, one of my favorite movies of all time. I agree. My favorite segment in there. Is the source of Apprentice. I don't mind Disney cannibalizing its own properties to re- regenerate them to make money. All right, that's fine. But here, I thought they did it in one of the most lazy ways possible, and mm-hmm. they try to like do some homage in here, okay. which I thought was just. I, I thought it was. I thought it was terrible. They oh, took oh, it was beyond terrible. They because took a tiny thing and expanded it to a whole movie, which is what Disney does now. That's their entire thing. We yeah. don't mind that. The properties we own, so we're going to take things like a single ride and turn it into a whole movie. Yeah, or the whole it, scene it, where the mops are going crazy right. and in and, and, and the animated Sorcerer's Apprentice, mm-hmm. they try to do a scene like that in here. Again, don't mind if they want to yeah. tip their hat to that, but it's it's oh, and they, they crowbarred it in. in. They yeah. really did. They and, crowbarred and, it and in. And like you co-host, I was actually you know despite myself enjoying this movie and thinking like what a fun movie for family to go see kids adults you didn't ride along with it they get to that scene and it just dropped all the way down and, mm-hmm. it, and it never fully recovered from yeah, me after the that. only way it would have worked for me is one of them damn mops pick Jay Bruchel up and start <laughs> dipping his ass in water <laughs> well, wait, boys, wait a minute boys, how I even... well did you notice towards the end of that scene one of the mops was like trying to rape him yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to do him up the yeah, butt that was, that was, <laughs> that was, was the only part ass. that I did like I was like okay that I believe <laughs> it's like it's like all those other mops held him hostage yeah. like I held him down while yeah. one mop bent over and took a Run and start right yeah. into his ass with that stick. <laughs> yeah, the mobs were like, "Hey, look, it's it's the sorcerer's bitch. Let's play, go have our fun with it." <laughs> but you know what, man? I, I I'm I'm complaining about a lot in this movie, and I I'm not a fan of it really. But I, I'm with you. There's some things I enjoyed. There's a really cool scene with 
a Chinese dragon that turns into like this big real dragon. Yeah. And I thought that was uh, some fun. I mean, I'm not. It against, was fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm not against special effects. I, yeah. I, I'm shallow, it's not but perfect CG. But it's conven- It does what it needs to do for the scene, and it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah. And I love the fact that you see the guys inside the dragon operating it as it's turning into a real <laughs> yeah. dragon. Like, hey, wait a minute! What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Where did this meat come yeah. from? <laughs> their, their expression, their expressions, like after that scene, just had me cracking them because they look yeah. like real guys. And we just throwing in the scene, like oh god, what the? Yeah. I know <laughs> the way it has magic, rela- magic going on in our current world is great. The way they figured all that out. I mean, it's not that the effects are groundbreaking. It's just clever the way it works. What doesn't work and constantly takes you out of the film is the way these characters relate to each other. I mean, the the lead character Jay Baruchel, Bar- ba- ba- Baruchel, yeah, Baruchel, Baruchel. Uh, shit. He does the most, my biggest pet peeve in these type of films. He's constantly going like, but I don't want any part oh of this. God, I don't want to be a powerful magician. No, or he'll be like, wow, that was awesome. Wait, no, I don't want to. Seriously? <laughs> who? Who yeah, can I identify with you. that? I was going to say that. Anyone else in this room, if somebody came and showed you how to levitate something, wouldn't you beep at that guy's door every yeah, day and say, show oh, me yeah. something else? I mean, you're, t- <laughs> you're selling this movie to people who want to believe in this world, who want to identify with a character like Harry Potter, and you want them to keep identifying with a guy who does nothing but whine about having to fight versus <laughs> oh, evil to save the I world know. and being the truth. He one. shows him like, what is that yeah. shit? He's like, Nick, <laughs> Nicholas Cage is like, hey, look, I'm going to blow this up with my hand. Yeah. I'm going to teach you how to do that. Isn't that cool? He's like, please don't make me do that. I wanted, I used right. to, I can't do that. I was the nerd in high school and I wanted to jump on screen and beat the <laughs> shit out yeah, of him. Man. Even, shove his uh, yeah. ass into a, into Urkel a locker. Urkel would call that guy a pussy. Well, you know what? Another thing is, you. I think I'm in agreement with everybody. The thing I like the most in this, it's two things. Uh, Nicholas Cage and Alfred Molina. Uh, yeah. They, they yeah. I mean, you got uh, look for all our making fun of Nicholas Cage and his hair pieces and whatnot. Nicholas Cage is somebody that we all love. We just want to see him do do well and choose a good script because we love him. I, I, I do. I, I, I actually, I, I enjoy him. Yeah, when, when he's he, in the right role, yeah. he's just um, wonderful. He's when he's actually he's in something yeah. good, no, he really shines. I mean, he can pull it out. I think as long as the the material is strong. Yeah, the, he was probably my second favorite part of this film, just because honestly, with with the with the lead guy. You were honest. Uh, for me, I was rooting for the villains because I was just like, you know, will somebody like do something to this guy to really take make him take this whole idea seriously? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, and, and the you know, magic what, he, what he needed was like a wizard Denzel Washington from Training Day, <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. riding, riding around with. Yeah. <laughs> How would that go? I want now. I really want to. I want to hear the scene. I want to. I want to uh, you did it now, go. Leon. Oh, why'd I do that? <laughs> well, he'd be like bitching about King Kong's. Like, oh yeah, we can actually test and see if he got anything on you or not. I like can he do actually that. like. Like when, uh, <laughs> like Jay Bruce you, was actually you know Latin. <laughs> you better learn that shit. Brush up on that shit. Brush up on that shit. We got sorcerer here ready to do some <laughs> evil things. Like Jay Bruce was actually shooting magic from his hands. And doesn't know it. He's like, "What did you do to me? Witchcraft? Yeah, <laughs> sorcery. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you did." <laughs> yeah. Houdini ain't got shit on me. <laughs> I said it. I said it. All right. Let's smoke this. It's hair of the banshee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, man? The way they explain the magic in the movie, I think, is cool because. They explain it by combining science. They say, look, it's not just manipulating things out of nowhere. It's like you think about how the particles operate with the with the ether and all that. It's like magic is having an effect on science and the way the world works. And that was cool. You've heard how people use only 10 percent of their brains. Sorcerers can manipulate matter because they're born with the capability to use the entire power of their brains. So wait, is, is sorcery science or magic? Yes and yes. For now, all you need is a basic combat spell making fire. What causes molecules to heat up? They vibrate. Everything we see is in a constant state of vibration, thus the illusion of solidity. But how do we take that which appears solid and have it burst into flames? We will the vibrations to go faster. Step one, clear your mind. Step two, see the molecules. Step three, make them shake. Got it? No, I I definitely don't got it. It was like, you never see that. You never see that take on that. Give us all, ma- all give the, the magic <laughs> cough drops. <laughs> <laughs> all the enzymes and shit coagulate. <laughs> <laughs> it, it becomes effervescent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and to your inner yeah. self, have mercy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it sucks, sucks in the magic it's all, effervescent. It's, it's casting a magic effect spell in this whole room where next week we're going to be the ones like... <laughs> I know. No, nah, man. I, 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 I like this movie. I don't hate it. I, I enjoy parts of it, but like I said, it just seemed like a bit of marketing gone... Uh, uh, too, 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 too far. And 
really, I watch this and it really does mimic Percy Jackson to a T to me. It's, it's magic set in the middle of New York. They have battles on top of buildings using elements. I'm like, this, I'm, I'm like, I'm watching yeah. the, the same film over can, again. Can we fucking find another place to do battle? Can we go to like fucking Arizona or something? <laughs> <laughs> Some place where you know, it's believable. You can at least blow up a bunch of racists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they need to yeah. blow up some shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm sure when the magicians get over here, they stop at Oklahoma first and they go like, damn, it ain't nothing but cows and rednecks. Yeah. Let's go to New York. Yeah. Well, they got skyscrapers yeah. and everything. Well, there's no place to do battle in New York because fucking Percy Jackson blew up half of it. <laughs> um, I, 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 well, I like this a lot. Well, hold on. I don't yeah, think I get my rating. rating. Yeah. 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 No, I was going to say, no. I, I, uh, other than that, I don't oh, Okay. I just rent them. <laughs> I like this a lot better than Percy Jackson. I mean, I'm pro- probably prejudiced against Percy Jackson because I read the book and I saw how they butchered it. But just even watching it, it's just like, man, it's just kind of joyless to me. With this movie, despite you know everything I thought going in, I had fun. It it died for me in that in that point and never recovered. And still, I think you know what? This movie is not meant for me. It is meant for people to take their families to, and it's a good one to to go. And I don't know. I, I feel like it's a a low matinee. You know, I feel like we're all dancing around the same points here. Uh, but, you know, it got ruined for me so badly by the way the story just was unconvincing, the way these characters didn't act like real people at all. And that, you know, like I was saying, the kids who the film is supposed to be motivating to like this guy are going to go, what the fuck? Suck it up, dork. I mean, because you, you do. You, you can't help it. You're like, man, he's the dorkiest dork who ever dorked. Yeah, and, the, and, and it's irritating, quite frankly. Every time you start to like it, it makes you hate this character so much. True. So it loses an entire you know step down for me. I, I would have given this a high matinee if they had just made his character likable. But as it is, it's a high rental. You know what? I, I'm, I'm, you know what? You convinced me. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's wow. a high rental. You're, you're absolutely right. Man, what? You can't do that. Wait, wait. What's your argument? Maybe I'll change back. No. Oh, <laughs> what's your magic? Yeah, like, the thing is, walking into this, yeah, when I first realized that, uh, seeing the trailer, uh, I thought it was just going to be called like, you know, Joey in the in his magic boots or something. <laughs> and then when I saw uh, when I saw the Sorcerer's Apprentice, I was like, uh, it made me fucking groan. I was like, really, you're going to take that wonderful bit from Fantasia and like exploit it and just market it up to to your bullshit, which they they do. But you know what? Shockingly enough. It, it entertained me. I was actually entertained. I was thoroughly entertained. I love the car chase scene in this movie, which we really didn't talk oh, about, yeah, yeah, which I thought was pretty goddamn was amazing. It, would, it really was. So I'm giving it a matinee. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go back to Matt. No, stop it. No, yeah, he can't, can't do that. I know he didn't talk you into a matinee. I listened to that too. And there's yeah. no way. All right, you uh, right. I don't know how you could do that after like after how, how this movie just disrespected Mickey so much. Man. It did. It did. But hey, you know what? Like I said, it, it, it entertained me. I, if I'm entertained, I'm entertained. I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't even. Mickey is horning himself out these days. Yeah, and yeah, like the, yeah. I didn't even you, put it together right. that this was that when I read the title, and because I was like, no, of course they wouldn't do that. That's just. Dumb. Dumb. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I was like, I, oh, there's no connection. That's why yeah. I, th- I did not make that connection either until I talked to Carla at the theater. He's like, no, this is the source of the You could cut out that scene entirely, that I, one scene, I, and the yeah. film would be not only be better for it, but you would never, ever in a billion years guess it was connected. I think, you know, and you're so right. That scene should have never even been in there. I think it would have actually would have made a little bit, I don't know how much, but a little bit of a better movie for me. Oh, much better. Yeah. Which, yeah. For you, I mean, oh, for me, it would have been much yeah, better. Yeah, wish Mickey would have come in with a bat and just stop my thunder, Nicholas Cage ain't got shit on me! (laughs) Something about you seems different. I'm a sorcerer. Well, that's new. (laughs) 